Welcome back to BJP Let's Talk guys. Today we're going to be talking about the whole 8.4 inch screen and the different settings that it has within the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, if you do have the upgraded screen with the navigation, we're going to go through that. Or if you're looking for it and you're interested in this model of Jeep, then this is going to show you guys that uh, 8.4 inch screen and all the features that you're going to get with it. I did already record this video, but for some reason, this camera that I have decided to delete all my uh, files or corrupt them or something. So I'm back at it recording again. Uh, I'm definitely going to order that new camera now uh, 100% because that just, just pushed me over the edge. So if you guys do get any information for this, make sure you click the like button down below. Comment any questions you have. And of course, subscribe. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's jump right in the video. All right, guys. So once you're in the screen here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start from the left to the right. So starting on our left here, we have the standard um, radio setting here with your AM, FM, Sirius XM, all the kind of good stuff that you guys might want to use. I personally don't really use any of these features. I don't really use the radio. But if you do, then here is your settings for that. You also have your HD audio button over on the side there. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the media here because the media is part that I actually use. So you got your different settings on the left, your Bluetooth, your aux, your USB 1, and your USB 2, as well as disc if you have a CD player in your console like I do in my car. Uh, you also have your map, info, uh, tracks, and your Bluetooth setup over on the other side here. And then just your basic controls where you can do browse, audio, all that kind of stuff. So if you press browse, it'll bring up like the different artists and different playlists and stuff like that that are on your phone. With Bluetooth, it's kind of weird. If you use a, if you use CarPlay, it's gonna obviously show up better, which I'll show you in a little bit, but let's just go ahead and just keep the video rolling. So those are your basic settings for your audio. And then if you go ahead and go to your next one, that's your climate. So this is really nice. There's a lot of features built into this. So you got your max AC here at the top. That's just gonna blow full AC out of your main vents. You got your AC, which is just gonna make sure that your air is cool uh, versus using hot air, obviously. Even if you turn it down to low and the AC isn't on, it's still not gonna get that cold. So in this button here, it's just gonna be that the air is refreshing inside of your car uh, rather than like sucking, it's just recirculating the air. Uh, your auto button, which would just be to set it to keep it at an auto comfortable temperature, no matter what kind of heat or what kind of temperature it is outside or in the car. You got your front and your rear defrosters up here. You also have them down below, um, below the screen here, uh, manual controls that aren't through the touchscreen. So if your touchscreen ever does go out, you do have those settings. Now, also over here, you've got your little sliders to go to the different temperatures, which is nice. It's kind of fun and like easy. Um, the nice thing about this touchscreen is that it's super, super easy to use. And it's, um, it's, it reminds me of just like an iPhone screen. It's super responsive. It's right there when you need it, right there when you want to do things. And you don't really have to worry about it or fight with it too much. Uh, going down here, you can turn it off, climb it off, obviously. On, and then you got your different fan speeds. Which you can see it cranks up. Then you have your sync button over here, which just means you can have dual climate on each side. Um, I usually just keep it synced up, but say my girlfriend got cold or something, she can go ahead and turn her side up or off or whatever she wants to do with that. Um, and then you also have your heated seats buttons here. And if you click those, it's actually gonna bring you to your controls panel over here, uh, which I also have in the bottom bar. You are able to move these wherever you want, so you can interchange these with whatever ones you use. I might get rid of the radio one because I never use it, but you guys can change it to whatever you guys want. Now, so where you got your heated seats, heated wheel, and your heated passenger seat. So one click is gonna put it to high, Two clicks is gonna put it to low, three clicks will turn it back off. You also have your heated wheel down here, which when you press the heated wheel, obviously heated wheel turns on. You also get a little indication up in the top right for both of these, uh, which is a nice little feature. In here, you also have your backup camera settings. So when you click on that, it's gonna go ahead and show you what's behind you, um, which is nice. You don't have to put it in reverse to see that if you just wanna take a look at what is behind you. So that's gonna be your basic control setting. You also just have settings in here but that's, uh, we'll get into that later once we get to the settings tabs. So let's go to our navigation here. Now, the nav system in this is really nice. So um, a lot of people just use CarPlay. I myself use CarPlay most of the time, but if I did need to just use simple nav inside of my car that was built in, it does have a really good nav system. So you can do where, where to, and you can search for a place, put in an address. You can actually do a point on the map, which a lot of things don't have. Uh, you also have intersection trips and point of interest. So that's nice, but if you click on the view map, um, you can see we got some water to my right and some uh, water over here. And so you can actually just move with your finger as well as scroll in and out, just like an iPhone or an Android kind of uh, mobile kind of setup with that, which is really nice. 
and you can do the map view and if I were to move right now then you would see the car move and everything it's very it's a very high quality um, high quality setup and you got your menu down here which brings you back to here which you say your home and your work location and then you have information and nav settings so if you click information it says like where am I traffic issues trip computer and country info if you need any of that information you have it you also have the nav settings here which again I'm gonna go into the nav or all the settings later on so we're not too worried about that going all the way to the right here we have our phone which is very very basic it's just gonna be linked up with your uh, Bluetooth if you are on Bluetooth and this is where you'll have your recents, your phone calls, contacts, keypads, so you can go ahead and punch in numbers if you want, uh, as well as your phone pairing settings here. Once you plug in CarPlay, it's obviously gonna change off of this setting to the CarPlay. So let me go ahead and grab my phone and switch over to CarPlay. Okay, so now that we're in the CarPlay settings, let me go ahead and swap over to media so I can show you. Connect to Bluetooth device, the Bluetooth is no longer be gonna be connected. It's gonna set to the USB one in most cases, which is gonna be your CarPlay audio. But if you go over here to the right now, it's now CarPlay. So now if you click that, you're gonna have your music, which is super nice. That has like, the album cover blurred in the background, which looks really good. The name, all of that, it's very like nicely done. If you click back, you can see your playlists here uh, and go ahead and switch through those and pretty much anything, songs, all that kind of stuff, you can go ahead and just play whatever you want to play. Uh, you got your For You, your Browse, your Radio, all the Apple Music stuff is in here, uh, and it works really, really well. Uh, if you do use Spotify, you can go ahead and click this little button down here to the Home button, and that'll bring you into here, and then your Spotify will be there for you to load up rather than Apple Music if you are a Spotify user. Uh, it also has your phone, your maps, and your messages. Obviously, if we open up maps, it's just going to be the simple maps that we have on our... Then we have the 3D mode or the non-3D mode, and that's just going to bring you over to where uh, you are, and obviously, it's just going to be your normal iPhone maps, but on the screen so you're able to follow it. Um, one thing that I don't like about it is if you have your phone here, and say my phone is like this, if I open it up at all and I have maps on here, it's got to have maps open. If I close it, it's going to default right back to the home screen. I wish that it would stay on this when I want to text and drive or whatever, if I'm at a red light or whatever, because that's kind of annoying. But that's the only real issue that I have with that. Okay, so now if we click this middle button here, we can go into our apps and that's going to bring up all these different options. So you can actually hold these down and drag them and switch them out with stuff here. Uh, if you want to do that, I really do. I just like how mine's set up right now, so I just keep it exactly how it is. So we got our travel link, which is a really interesting system here. Uh, you usually get, I believe you get three years through Sirius XM, and that's going to give you all these different features. Uh, fuel prices, it'll tell you the different brands, distance prices, uh, your favorites, your fuel types, uh, you can refresh the data, all kinds of stuff like this. And like I said, it's through Sirius XM, I believe you get a three month subscription to that once you buy the car. Uh, weather, it'll tell you what the weather is right now, 74. Uh, and you can do sports, favorites, movie listings, all that kind of good stuff is all built into here. You also have a weather map, which this is probably one of the coolest features. You can see that there's like a cold band going out there. Um, if we zoom out, you can see all kinds of stuff. You can see the different fronts. Uh, you can see storms if you turn those on. Um, earlier, there was a bunch of snow up here uh, when I tried to record the video. But yeah, it's got all kinds of different stuff like that. And you can see what the weather is and what it's looking like or where the bands are that are gonna be coming over where you are. So that's a cool little feature. Again, you can do quick actions for driver heat and passenger heat. If you click it, it's gonna pop out like that. It'll turn it on high, low, or turn it back off. Then you also have your projection manager settings, which are just gonna be basic like smartphone device mirroring uh, through your iPhone. And, uh, or if you're using uh, non-CarPlay and you're using Android Auto, that, those settings will be in here as well. So then you got your Wi-Fi hotspot. If you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this about enabling the Wi-Fi hotspot. I believe it's like 30, 40, $50 a month or something like that. So I don't buy it because I don't use it and I don't think I would use it. Uh, so it's not really worth me spending that money on. Then you have an SOS button, not gonna press that because I don't want the cops to roll up. Then you also have an assist button. Again, not gonna press that because I don't care about getting an assistant right now. Uh, I'm just trying to make this video and show you guys all the features. We also have the activate services, which is going to help you purchase like things like the Wi-Fi hotspot and other different services through the Sirius XM and the Uconnect system. Uh, down here, you got the vehicle user guide. This is actually really interesting because if you're looking for something about your car, uh, you don't have to go on your phone and look it up. You can just go ahead and load this up here. And this is gonna show you all of your different information, like your vehicle operation settings. Okay, let's figure something out with that. 
uh, give it a load here. It's going to give you warning lights and indicators, drive, all that kind of information. So say that you wanted to go to your vehicle maintenance and you wanted to see scheduled servicing for non-SRT models. So servicing is scheduled 20,000 miles or two years. So 30,000 miles or three years. So that's right around where I am. Let's see what it says that my scheduled maintenance should be. It might take a minute to load because it is just trying to link itself up. So it's equipped with an automatic oil change indicator system, blah, blah, blah. I already know that. And then it says that at every oil change you should do this and it's going to tell you all the stuff that you're supposed to do um, and it'll give you stuff like that and it also has hood stuff and fluid capacities all kinds of good information for your car is built right into this which is really awesome you don't have to go grab the book and try and figure it out or google it it's all going to be right there for you then you have a notifications tab that's going to obviously just show you notifications about your uconnect system currently there's none on mine um, I don't really purchase anything through it or have anything set up subscription wise through it that's where you get notifications for that so if you click the off-road pages here that's going to go ahead and show you a bunch of cool information so if you turn the steering wheel you can see that it's now showing the different steering angles of the wheel uh, of the front wheels which is really nice since i mean i'm never going to use this but it's it's here and it's cool to kind of show off and to have um, again it shows your altitude and then your north and west uh, coordinates then you got your pitch and roll here which will show the different pitch and roll of the car this is made for obviously off-road if you do take your car off-road uh, I personally don't I kind of got just like a street car here but if you do uh, set it up to do any off-road stuff then it does give you all those options you go into your accessory gauges here this is going to show you your coolant temp your oil temp your battery voltage your trans temperature and your oil pressure now the battery voltage one is connected to the battery directly and it's just a little setting um, or a little plug and play type of thing uh, you can disconnect that which will disconnect the auto start stop at red lights feature uh, so if you guys do want a video on that let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to know how to permanently disable that you will get a light on the dash and you will this will not work uh, but if you do want to do that let me know and I can make a video showing you guys how to do that so you don't have to keep pressing the on off button or the turn off auto start stop at lights button every time you get in the car. So now going back out of there, we have our app manager, which if you click on that, it's just gonna show running apps, which the only one that's running is that, which it's now closed. So we go back, we go to our next page. We got our backup camera. Like I said before, it'll show you the backup camera dependent on where you are. As you can see here, when you turn the wheel, it's gonna show where it is, but you can do that without having to put it in reverse, which is cool. Uh, heated wheel settings, same as the heated seats. Radio, which is the same things as down here. Radio, media, climate, controls, nav, and CarPlay are all the things along the bottom. Uh, and then the last few are the settings and the audio settings. So now there's settings in here. You got display settings, language settings. Obviously, language settings are easy enough. Then you have your display settings. If you click on that, it's got your different display modes. Uh, your theme, that's where you'll change your background and colors. Uh, your touchscreen beep, obviously the beep between when you click it. Uh, going back, you got your units. Obviously, I have mine on US. If you guys want to change that, there it is. Voice settings, again, these I don't really ever use, uh, but there they are. Your clock settings, which is like your 12 hour, 24 hour, depending on where you are. Camera settings, this is where you got your backup camera delay. I'm not sure what that is. Um, if you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm not 100% on the Parkview backup camera delay, but uh, yeah, let me know. And then we go down here safety and driving assistance. This is probably the most important one for me because that rear park sense braking assist, I want that bad boy turned off as soon as I ever got this car. That was the first thing I did is I went into the settings and turned that off. Basically, that's gonna auto brake and slam on the brakes when you're probably two or three feet away from whatever it is that you might be backing up against. Uh, it's super annoying, I can't stand it. So make sure you guys turn that off if you don't want it. Unless you back into things a lot, then you might wanna keep it. So if we go back, we got mirrors and wipers. Uh, which are going to be headlights with wipers that's the only setting you might have more options depending on which model of the car you have for the altitude this is the, the options that i have lights these are just delays headlights with wipers daytime running lights stuff like that uh, doors and locks again these are just basic settings of like passive entry sound horn with the remote start uh, auto lock doors auto unlock on exit that kind of stuff and then we have our auto on comfort so now this is going to be that the auto Driver's heated seat and steering wheel are going to turn on so you can set it to off or you can do it only when it remote starts or all starts So that doesn't mean that if you get in in the summer, it's going to be hot in here That just simply means that if you get in in the winter and you have the heated steering wheel the heated seat on Get out and run into a store when you come back out and start it up again They will automatically kick back on 
Uh, then you have your engine off options, which are going to be things like power delay and the headlight delay, which is the power delay is things like your screen here and your gauges uh, turning off when and like the music when you turn the engine off and then obviously the heads and lights when you get out. Going down, you got your audio settings. Now, uh, this might be different, again, depending on what packages you have installed. If you have the upgraded speakers, you might have different settings. Uh, so balance and fade, you got your equalizer. Those are the equalizer settings that I found to work better. Uh, I had the highs up, everything was up all the way when I got it and it was killing my ears. Then you have speed adjust volume. I personally don't have a problem with it. If you guys have a problem with it, let me know why down below. Uh, a lot of people turn it off. Then you got some surround sound, aux volume, uh, and then autoplay. Uh, just super basic settings in there. Phone and Bluetooth, again, we talked about those earlier uh, where you can get to your projection settings and stuff like that. Going back, we got Sirius XM set up. You got your reset and your basic system information settings. So that's pretty much it for the features. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and uh, let me know if there's anything that I missed down below that you guys want to know about or want to see and I can go ahead and cover those for you. Alright guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you click that like button down below. Of course, comment anything that you guys want to know about the system or what you like about it, what you don't like. Let me know everything about that and like I said, any questions that you have. Of course, go to that subscribe button to save day with future content. We have new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. on the channel. So if you guys could subscribe, we're on our way to a thousand subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year. But that's about it for this video, guys. Peace! Thank <music> you.